Next in our program is the paper uh, by Omar Amer and Renata Pavličková. And just now we will slightly move from the online environment into more present environment as Dr. Uh, Amer is uh, here with us in, in, in the studio. And he will present the paper of comparison, the anchoring effect application in employee management in Visochino region with Prague and Moravian Silesian regions. So please, Dr. Amer, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Michal. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Omar Amer, and I am a member of the Department of Sustainable Development uh, here in uh, Moravian Business College Olmouc. Uh, so now we can move on my presentation. So let me introduce uh, fundamental information about our uh, paper that deals with uh, comparison of the anchoring effect application in employee management in Vysočina region with Prague and Moravian Silesian region. This uh, paper or we can say that two authors prepared this uh, paper, my colleague, Mrs. Hernata Pavličková and me. So this is the presentation outline. First chapter deals with uh, introduction. The second uh, uh, chapter uh, solves goal, hypothesis, methods. The third uh, step uh, solves results and the last chapter deals with uh, discussion. So there are two types of economic decision making, rational and irrational. What does it mean? Rational, this is decisions, by, uh, decisions based on reasonable purposes and goals that can be justified by, uh, by exact arguments. We can say that uh, we have two types of economic decision making. We have two types of uh, rational economic decision making, and it's positive and negative. What does it mean, irrational decision making? It's a decision making that is motivated not only by a logic reason, but also by emotions and intuitions. And the same, there are two types of uh, irrational economic decision making, positive and negative. And uh, what is it, behavioral economics? Behavioral economics deals with negative irrational decision making. And behavioral economics uh, examines the confrontation of rationality with irrationality. And examines uh, the effects of social, cognitive, and emotional factors on economic decision making of economic subjects. And finally, uh, explains the rational decision making of economic operators. Generally, we can say that in recent years, behavioral economics has gained considerable influence in many fields of study and also in the political management and economic areas. Experts in behavioral economics found out that people don't act only by logic thinking. Their behavior and the decisions are influenced by intuitive uh, reaction and mental state. This is statement by uh, Tversky and Kahneman. Tversky, Kahneman and Thaler contributed to an establishment of two new fields uh, of study. Both of them are on the border of psychology and economics. The first field is experimental economics and the second field is behavioral economics. There are many new hypotheses in the science of behavioral economics. And at the same time, the behavioral economics evaluates how the results of the decision are influenced by decision, process, and external influences. About two years ago, research in the field of behavioral economics was conducted. It was our uh, research. And this, our previous research, had two basic goals. The first goal of the paper was to find out how much the managers of enterprises with more than 100 employees use the anchoring effect to anchor their employees. 
And the second goal of the paper was to determine whether managers of Prague companies with more than 100 employees use anchoring effect more often than managers of Moravian, Silesian region companies with more than 100 employees. The result of this previous research showed that the managers in Czech Republic still don't use the anchoring effect too often. That if managers know and use the anchoring effect, they use it relatively often. Third uh, result showed that uh, the level of the application of the anchoring effect is higher in Prague than in Moravian, Silesian region. And uh, the difference in the use of anchoring effect between Prague and Moravian, Silesian region is not very significant. The authors also stated that it's possible to carry out similar research in other cities. Let's move on. So second chapter deals with goal, hypothesis and methods of uh, this research, of this paper. The goal of the paper is to compare the anchoring effect application in employee management in Visočina region with two, region, reg with two regions, which are Prague and Moravian Silesian region. It means uh, the comparison applies to enterprises with more than 100 employees. The authors set uh, the following hypothesis. Hypothesis is that the managers of Visočina region's enterprises with more than 100 employees use anchoring effect 20% less often than both the managers of Prague enterprises with more than 100 uh, employees and the managers of Moravian Silesian region enterprises with more than 100 uh, employees. The individual methods applied in this paper will be now described. It means the questionnaire survey and the anchoring effect. Questionnaire survey, very briefly, it was online animals, was realized since the 27th of October until the 18th of December uh, 2020. The original deadline for the collection of responses was set on the 4th of uh, December. Due to a, rel a relatively small number of responses, the, the duration of the questionnaire survey was extended till the 18th of December. Questionnaire survey was sent to 91 enterprises with more than uh, 100 employees in the Visočina region and its surroundings. The, uh, the questionnaire was sent to the responsible management of the selected enterprises. And the questionnaire survey was created to take only about three minutes to complete. So uh, the authors wanted to achieve a high rate of return. This is the reason why uh, questionnaire survey was created to take only about three minutes to complete. Anchoring effect. Anchoring effect, again very briefly. The anchoring uh, means a form of cognitive animosity for an individual to rely too heavily on an initial piece of information offered when making decisions. By definition, the anchoring effect is a heuristic when initial exposure to a number serves as a reference point. This number then influences later judgment about value. Once the anchor has been established, we evaluate whether it's a high or a low, and then we adjust, uh, uh, adjust uh, our estimate to that amount. This mental process finishes uh, early because uh, we are not sure of the real amount. Therefore, our estimation is not usually far from the anchor. The anchor is uh, in deep in our uh, mind, in our brain, so it's very difficult to left it. And the consumers have a huge tendency to use small pieces of information that they are offered to trigger decisions and estimates. Basic anchoring occurs if people pay sufficient attention to the anchor value. Knowledgeable people are less susceptible to basic anchoring effects. And finally, uh, anchoring effect 
has widespread influence, including on professionals who are well educated on the related topic. So, move on uh, the results. The table shows the knowledge of the anchoring effect in three evaluated areas. It means a comparison of the Vysočina region with Prague and Moravian Silesian region. This consequence was not important to verify the hypothesis. The significance of this consequence was only to slightly manipulate the respondents and thus uh, achieve credible answers in other questions. The authors evaluated a lot of context, uh, only those contexts that are decisive in relation to research hypothesis will be presented. Approximately 88.8% uh, of managers of the enterprises with more than 100 employees in Vysočina region know the concept of anchoring effect. Approximately 56.25% uh, of the managers of the enterprises with more than 100 employees in Vysočina region have ever tried the anchoring effect or use it regularly. Approximately 37.5% of the managers in Vysočina region used an anchoring effect sometimes, but they use it very uh, rarely and irregularly. Approximately 9.38% of the managers in Vysočina region use the anchoring effect on average at least one amount. Approximately 9.38% of the managers of the enterprises with uh, more than 100 employees in Vysočina region use the anchoring effect on average at least twice a month. The table below shows the comparison the anchoring effect application in Vysočina region with Prague and Moravian Silesian region. As you can see, both values of the percentage difference are less than 20%. The hypothesis is therefore rejected. The table below shows the rate of using the anchoring effect in the Vysočina region. This fulfills the second goal of the paper. And uh, now we can move to the discussion. So the main goal of the paper was to compare the anchoring effect application in the enterprises with more than 100 employees in Vysočina region with enterprises with uh, more than 100 employees in two regions, which are Prague and Moravian Silesian region. The authors predicted that the managers of Vysočina region companies use anchoring methods less often than both the managers of Prague companies and the managers of Moravian Silesian region companies. Why we have this uh, uh, hypothesis? Our hypothesis arises from assumption that the more uh, developed and more sophisticated uh, methods, it means management methods, are used in more advanced and more developed develop, uh, development uh, countries. This is a statement from literature. So this uh, was uh, the reason why we have this assumption, why we have this hypothesis. So as I uh, said, authors set one hypothesis in the beginning and the results say that this hypothesis was rejected. According to the authors, the research was limited by the following three parameters. First parameter is that the surveyed companies were not only from uh, were not only from Mihlava, but also from its surroundings. There are not so many enterprises with more than 100 employees in Mihlava as in Prague. Second parameter: the surveyed companies were not only from Ostrava, but also from its surroundings. Again, there are not so many enterprises with more than 100 employees in Ostrava as in Prague, and. The third parameter, a huge part of enterprises with more than 100 employees uh, in the Czech Republic have foreign owners. It's a very important parameter. 
The results further show that uh, if managers know and use the anchoring effect, they use it relatively often. Our results clearly show that the largest rate of use of the anchoring effect is in Prague. Thank you for your attention.